And speaking of Josh Jacobs, Omar, for you, how does that potential signing, and as Mike Garofolo just told us, not necessarily close right now, but if it does happen, how does that help generate some hope and optimism around a team that fell short last year? Well, hope and optimism for the fan base, but as MJD just mentioned with Saquon Barkley and the New York Giants, some morale in the locker room. Remember, there was so much disappointment surrounding the Raiders in 2022. All the expectations, Devontae Adams coming in, Chandler Jones coming in off that playoff team, and to have just six wins. But there was Josh Jacobs there leading the league in rushing. So to have him to start training camp happy, fed, well paid would be a big sign. Of course, we had Josh Jacobs publicly defend Josh McDaniels last fall when there were suggestions that perhaps Josh McDaniels might be losing the locker room. Josh Jacobs shut that notion down. Of course, you had Devontae Adams earlier this offseason talk about not seeing eye to eye with the organization. And of course, them sending away Derek Carr uh, to the New Orleans Saints, ending his nine year run as face of the franchise. Complicating it all is the fact that their new franchise quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, hasn't practiced this entire offseason. So if they were to begin training camp without their star running back, only adds to the cohesion and chemistry issues they might face installing that offense in training camp. Yeah, once again, a lot of questions here specifically for this squad and a lot of changes on the offensive side.